Did you wake up in the morning and say, you know what? I'd like to make less money at work. You didn't do that, did you? I mean, the only thing I've seen is that people who work in offices tell pollsters overwhelmingly that they would be willing to take a pay cut from their employer to have more flexibility in their work schedule and being able to work remotely. I mean, it's weird how that's become such a huge lifestyle change in people. But this isn't about that. This is about something we do just breathing working at a place where we're taking a voluntary pay cut. USA Today reports that one in four couples are failing to put enough money into an employer-provided retirement plan to pick up free money, employer match money, in their 401k. Now, this is hurtful a few different ways. First, you're not putting money aside for retirement. Second, your employer offers these incentives to try to get you to save with what's essentially a pay raise by matching money you contribute to a 401k, maybe um, you know, matching equally up to 6% or matching equally to 4 or doing 50 cents up to 6%. So for every dollar you put in, they put in 50 cents or a dollar on up to that amount. And I know that there are financial pressures in life always. But we're also going to get older. And so when you're offered the opportunity of a retirement plan where you work, and they're offering you bonus money, essentially, for contributing, you got to pick up every dollar. Now, one of the things that was crazy in these stats is that often in a couple where both are working, one may be contributing to their 401k beyond the employer match, and the second in the couple not contributing at all. And so they're putting in more than the match for one, none for the other, going past the match, where if instead they rebalance that, and each were putting in at least to the match, both are picking up the free money. Now, the consequences of one contributing a lot and the other little or none is something that is an uncomfortable topic to talk about, but somewhere depending on how you believe the stats, let's call it a 50-50 shot, that about half of marriages are going to end in divorce. So in that case, the spouse who's not contributing ends up following a divorce with much less money for their long-term future than the spouse who's contributing to the retirement plan at work. Balance is really important here for all these reasons that both people in a couple are contributing. And if someone is a stay-at-home in a couple and you're married, then the stay-at-home is eligible for a spousal IRA. And so even though you won't have access to a workplace plan, you can contribute to a Roth IRA as a non-working spouse. And this is a tool almost nobody uses, but is one you should absolutely avail yourself of. 